So in this video, we'll be on the C5 topic, Appendix 7. This is investigating cells. And um, in this investigation, we're going to be constructing four different cells using different metals and electrolytes. And we're going to be recording the voltage that is produced in each one. You'll then need to record the voltage in the table in the middle here. So let's have a look at the equipment that we need for this investigation. We're going to use three different metals. I've got some copper here. We've got some magnesium and we've got some zinc. And I've got two different electrolytes in these beakers. I've got some sodium chloride solution and some copper sulfate solution. I've got a digital voltmeter, which is connected with two wires to some crocodile clips and a holder, which you're gonna to use to connect the electrodes. Once we've gone through the list of equipment, let's have a quick look at the method. So we're gonna choose two different metals. We're gonna connect them to the crocodile clips, and then we're going to place them into one of the electrolytes and record the voltage that's gonna be displayed here on the voltmeter. All we need to do is just complete the table by matching the electrolyte with the different types of electrodes. So let's get started. The first electrolyte is going to be sodium chloride. So that's this beaker over here with the colorless solution. And we're going to be using copper and magnesium for our electrodes. So let's just get this set up. We're going to take a copper strip and place it into the crocodile clip. I'll hold it in place. We then need to take some magnesium which is this thin strip of silver metal here. Connect that in like so. So we've got those connected into the holder, as you can see here. And then we're gonna place that into the sodium chloride solution. And as soon as that goes in, we should now get a reading on the display. And we're gonna record that on our sheet of paper. Let's move those wires out of the way and we'll move that out of the way as well. So now we get a reading of approximately 1.24, 1.25 volts. It's fluctuating, fluctuating ever so slightly. That might be to do with the movement of the solution. So let's just pick a number here. We've got 1.2. God, it's going 1.22. Okay, so we had a voltage of 1.22 volts produced by this combination of a copper and magnesium electrode and sodium chloride solution. What we're gonna do now is keep the electrodes same and we're gonna swap the solution over for some copper sulfate. So place this into copper sulfate. And now we need to record the values for this one. So we've now got copper and magnesium, but we're gonna use copper sulfate solution. So we're gonna be filling out this box here and we get a reading of 1.53. Okay, now we need to swap, change the electrodes. We're going to be using copper still, but we're going to swap the magnesium for zinc. So the zinc electrode can now be connected up. And let's go back to, we'll stay with the copper sulfate while we're here. Let's just uh, move this down ever so slightly. So they actually go into the electrode. There we go, into the electrolyte. And now we get a reading of 0 0.95. So copper sulfate, Copper and zinc, 0 0.9, it's just changed. I did have 9.5, but it did go to 9.3. Okay, now the numbers will start to change ever so slightly um, as the cell starts to work, but we're not too concerned with that. Final one to do, so we've just now got to change over the electrolyte. Let's clean these up. We're gonna take some sodium chloride solution, place it into there. And now we get a value of 0 0.85. Okay, so I'll just move the camera in so you can get a close up of the results. So if you want to pause the video at this moment, you can, so you can record the results. And you should now be able to complete the questions at the bottom of the page.